Hello Mochi Gamers, this is Bob Ippolito from Mochi Media and this is the first Mochi Games Premium Flash Game Review. Uh, tonight we'll be reviewing Clockwords Prelude, which is our latest Premium Flash Game. So the Premium Games uh, in Mochi Games are really just the best of the best for Flash Games. Uh, they, they use our Mochi Coins virtual currency platform, which allow you to uh, say, save your progress and log in and also in most cases you can spend a little cash on uh, some extra premium features uh, to unlock other uh, gameplay elements and this game is developed by Kebab. Uh, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong please let me know if I'm not uh, we'll go ahead and just play it now so I got the idea for doing this uh, podcast after seeing 8BitRocket.com's uh, Mochi Games uh, review cast, where uh, Steve and Jeff sat around a laptop uh, with a couple cans of beer and reviewed our normal games feed, I decided to focus on uh, some premium games here because those are the ones that I really enjoy playing that I think are really worthy of showcasing. So it starts off with a really cool uh, sort of comic book intro where you can get the backstory. We'll just skip over this, um, but I, I really recommend that you check it out. The artwork is just beautiful, and it's kind of a cute little story. So you can see in the menu you've got your Mochi Games login widget, uh, where you can know that you're playing a, a game using our platform. Um, there's an interesting widget here to control the sound and music volume. I, I think the the music is rather nice so I haven't shut that off. Um, the feedback form here is pretty cool. It lets you talk directly to the game developer. So if you found a bug or you really just want to you know speak your mind uh, about what you think of the game you can shoot them a message directly right here. Uh, you can also see that Clockwords uh, integrates the dictionary.com word of the day right into the game. And so this is a participant in the dictionary.com contest that we're running for word games across the whole Moji network. Uh, and we can see the word of the day uh, for today, Friday, September 18th, is alacrity. So when we use alacrity in gameplay today, uh, you'll see that the word is much more powerful than usual. And you can see down here is the developer did something really cool is they built some server-side components where you can see the words that other game players are using in real time, basically. Um, and it'll actually integrate during gameplay and it'll give you some hints so you can use some of the words that other people are using. I've already put a, a pretty significant amount of time in this, um, so I'm pretty far along. Uh, I'll just go ahead and cut right to some gameplay. So Clockwords is basically a sort of defense game where in order to defend your secrets in the safe over here, you have to type words to kill those spiders. And you can see here it's giving me a hint that another game player had used the word Dom. And then I'll go ahead and use that word of the day to really kick the crap out of some of those spiders. And then now I'm pretty much bending for myself, uh, coming up with words. And if you use the words in the chamber, the letters in the chamber here, uh, then they're more powerful, you get more points. And for the colored ones, they, they've got special features. And if you use all of the letters in in the chambers, then it adds another chamber, and Brainstorm is activated right now, which basically means you just jam on the keyboard and take out some spiders. When it ends, you might have some backspacing to do. It's pretty useful right now, and I've got these very difficult spiders to take down. Oh, backspace time. Like Steve and Jeff, I'm not drinking a beer, uh, but I am thinking about breweries, apparently.
and so the you can sort of see that the rarity of a letter influences how powerful it is. Here's another word that I can borrow from the other game players. I can't spell tonight. Oh. German food, that'd be nice. Apologize for not speaking a lot here, but it's very difficult to talk about one thing and spell something else, at least for me. There's another freebie. Go ahead and conjugate that a little bit. Like most word games, it's not going to accept proper nouns either. Uh, and if you reuse a word, then you really just don't get any points. Spider going down. Alright, and I just finished a level. There's my applause. Okay, so the other cool feature about this game is um, it, it keeps track of your biggest words, um, which I didn't surpass my best word in, in this particular match. Uh, I had an awfully slow words per minute, but I didn't lose any secrets to those spiders. Um, and my average word damage seems pretty reasonable, although I could probably do better. So in the boiler here, you've got kind of an alchemy feature. Um, so basically what you do here is you take letters of equal rank, like these two ones, and you can combine them and transmute them to make a letter of the of the next highest rank. Um, right now, you have to keep 20 letters in your boiler at all times, so I can't do this right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, buy some letters. Um, I've already got the free letter sampler, uh, and you can see that I, I've bought a little bit here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy some brass letters. Let's do it. Buy item. Alright, so I've got some more letters. I can transmit these guys. I'll take these two level ones and I'll transmute them and now I've got a level two. And then I can take these level twos transmuted, combine the level twos, make a three, and then combine that and now I have a level four, um, and what this will do is cause all the letters in the word to explode and damage nearby bugs, and so that makes it a lot more powerful when I spell a word that has a B in it, and this is in my chamber. And uh, there's also some more upgrades here. Uh, you can get the letter sampler and the brainstorm that you saw. The brainstorm is when you just jam on the keyboard and take out those spiders. Um, and these are both free items, so anyone with a Mochi Games account, which is also free, uh, you just log in and you can pick those up at no charge. And that's it for my Clockwords review. Uh, we've had a lot of fun with this in the office, um, and I, I think I'm probably just going to go ahead and play some more tonight. Alright, thanks for participating. I'll probably see you on the leaderboards.